think of my job as a storyteller. And I, I love that. I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. Hey, everybody, I'm here. Uh, uh, Blit. Plate, yes, Blit. Plate, Blit. Blit. It's Mark McKellen. Yay? Everybody says he's an awesome kisser. Make sure he knows I'm a cop. Have to be patient. As the game gains in popularity, more and more powerful demons will want to play. How do you know? Because if human beings are foaming at the mouth to humiliate themselves on national television, and they are, then demons are an easy mark. You got the charmed ones involved, didn't it? So when do we get our shot at them? Be patient. This was only round one. Stay tuned. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself, so did little boy. You did it and make a quick buck, and Candy did it and make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah! I've got the money, all I need to do is get rid of you. It's gonna be a shame, kid, but that's business. I'm not here to dismantle Braddock's operation, but to make sure that it counts for something. Why are you here? Your family, correct? I understand that motivation better than you think. So, tell me, Bailey, is there some other priority? Some new agenda that you place ahead of your family's safety? Something more important to you now than ever seeing them again? Let me tell you why I'm here. I'm here for the human race. Not just for my son's future, but for all the children of Earth to escape extinction. And there is nothing, and no one, that I will allow to get in my way. Commander Akil Minraya, of the Settlement Defense Front. Who was that? Rebecca Thane. The leader of Black November. She knew my parents. Yeah, we were all part of the same group before. Anyway. Rebecca was always a breed apart. She thinks she can change the world by blowing it up. Drop the weapon. Chaos, Crane. Right? Chaos is the one true order of things. But to pretend otherwise is the sheerest folly. Allow me to demonstrate. So, face to face again. I guess that means I don't need this anymore. With or without it, Suleiman, you're dead. Come now, Crane. Do not pretend you don't care. How many lives depend on this disc? Hundreds, thousands, perhaps billions. You ever hear of Bob Anthony's network, Your Way to Success? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah? Is that what you guys are all talking about? We're the local Bob mob. We get together, quaff a few exotic libations, and strategize about tapping into our full potential. I'm Detective Ray. That's Bowie. Go! You protect him? A man who sends so many innocents to their deaths? The law will take care of it. Yeah, I used to believe that too. Until the law turned me into a murderer. So, you walk into my city, Stinking of shit and looking like this. And you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? I was born in the crucible of a fire that you created. 
But I was born anew as the flame. Not the flame of knowledge, not the flame of truth. <laughs> oh, no. I am the flame of war! Call me Shen. Before you ask, helmet stays on, cockpit or not. Too many hard landings. Broken neck. Five, six times. Cybernetics keep me going. Fight. Fall. Get up. Fight again. All for the Empire. <laughs> This is going to end. It's time for your madness to end, brother. I was never just your brother. I am your god. You're no one, Macros. You would dare to raise your weapon against a god? Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta get on that gun. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. in this before, you know? Can't we have... How's it going, old buddy? Boozer, where are you going? Home! That's where I'm going, home. Oh, well, we can't home. go back to O'Leary Mountain. No, I'm not going to fucking O'Leary Mountain. I'm going to farewell. Shit, come on. We gotta get you to be no. doing You wanna take a swing at me? Fine, get in line behind oh, me. I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You're gonna drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? You grabbed a bottle, and you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was gonna drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. So that's what brothers do. Yeah. World belongs to them now. We'll survive. Yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving isn't living. <laughs> Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. She's out there. You'll find her. <laughs> 